book that I have today is called The Truth About Dolphins, and it's written by Maxwell Eaton III. This book is a fun book because it's not only a non-fiction book, it's also fiction as well. So it's kind of a bit of both, and I can show you what I mean by that. In the book, it gives you facts, which you can see right here. These are the facts, but it also has fun little pictures that are not real pictures, they're drawn. And in the pictures, dolphins are talking to each other, and so are the fish. And if you know in real life, fish and dolphins don't really talk. So that makes that part of the book fiction. But it does give you true facts. So it's kind of a bit of both. So I hope you enjoy this book. And it's called The Truth About Dolphins by Maxwell Eaton III. This is a dolphin. Hello. Yikes. And this page tells us that this dolphin is called a common bottlenose dolphin. Dolphins look like fish but they aren't. Dolphins breathe air through a blowhole. And this dolphin says, can I try that? And this dolphin's called the Atlantic white-sided dolphin. And you can see the blowhole on this dolphin on the top of its head. It's the circle that the arrow is pointing to. And dolphins breathe air through that. Down here by the fish, it says, fish get oxygen from the water using gills. I stay under as long as I like. So dolphins have to come up from air to breathe through their blowhole. And fish can stay underwater for a long time because they breathe through their gills on the side of their head. Dolphins swim by moving their tails up and down. Up, down, up, down, up, down. Fish move by flexing their bodies from side to side. Left, right, left, right. Dolphins have smooth skin. It helps make us fast. Most fish have scales. It helps give us character. So that page told us that dolphins move their tail up and down and fish go from side to side. It also said dolphins have smooth skin, kind of like ours. And then it says fish have scales, so they're probably bumpy while the dolphin is smooth. Dolphins are actually mammals, like humans, bears, and cats. And this dolphin beside the bear says, Are we sure about that? They breathe air. The fish says, We went over this. They are warm-blooded. That means they have about the same body temperature no matter how cold or warm their surroundings are. So even though this dolphin is in icy water, the dolphin stays warm. And this dolphin says, I have my limits. And they give birth to live young, not eggs. And the dolphin at the bottom of the page says, an egg sounds nice. And then the baby dolphin says, follow me, mom. When a baby dolphin is born, it usually comes out of its mother tail first. And this crab down here says, oh dear. And down here a sign says, a baby dolphin is called a calf. So kind of like how a cow's baby is called a calf, a dolphin's baby is called a calf as well. Then its mother nudges it to the surface for its first breath of air. And this little bird says, congrats. Finally, like all mammals, the young dolphin drinks milk from its mother. Mmm, mmm, the little baby dolphin says. Dolphins come in all different shapes, sizes, and colors. And this dolphin right here says family reunion. And I can go through some of the dolphins on this page. The one that's at the top above the surface is called the common bottlenose dolphin. Right beside that dolphin, there's one that has yellow on its side. That is called a short-beaked common dolphin. Under the bottlenose dolphin, there's an Atlantic white-sided dolphin. And then up under that one, it says a southern white right whale dolphin. And then the one in the middle with all the white specks is called the Atlantic spotted dolphin. Then the dolphin to the side that looks kind of like a whale is called a Rizzo's dolphin. And this dolphin says, not everyone can make it. And at the bottom of the page, it tells us there are more than 40 species of dolphins. So this page doesn't give us all the dolphins, it just gives us some. On the next page, it says, the little kid says, aren't there any big dolphins? Start swimming, kid. 
And that little bird is talking about this big dolphin, which is called an orca, and it weighs 12,000 pounds. Orcas are also known as killer whales. There are also two little dolphins on the side of this page that they tell us that tell us some about. And the white one at the top is called a Tukuksi dolphin, and it weighs 90 pounds. And then the one up under it is called a Commerson's dolphin, which weighs 150 pounds. But the orca is the biggest dolphin. And they can be found in every ocean and sea in the world, from warm tropical waters to the Arctic and Antarctic. And the fish that's in the float said, this is the life. And this dolphin is called a spinner dolphin. Spinner dolphins are named for their ability to spin as they leap through the air. And you can see this dolphin spinning in the air on the sign. On the next page, we have a killer whale. And remember, a killer whale is a type of dolphin. And this orca says, I love penguins and seals. And then the seal at the bottom says, as friends or for breakfast. And then it gives us a fact. Dolphins have a thick layer of fat called blubber that keeps them warm. And that's kind of like polar bears. They have blubber, so when they're in the water, it's a layer of fat that keeps them warm. You might remember exploring blubber when we stuck our hands in bags that had some um, Crisco in it. And we stuck our hands in there in the ice, and it was either warm or it was hot. And y'all all remember saying that your hands stayed warm even though they were in the Crisco in the bags. Dolphins eat mostly fish and squid. They hunt in groups called pods by using their eyes, ears, and one very special ability. And here are our Atlantic spotted dolphins again. And you can see these little fish are going left, right, left, right, left, right, left, right, left, right, left, right. And you can probably see that those fish are telling themselves left, right, left, right, so they can swim away from those dolphins. And then at the bottom, there's a squid at the bottom, and he says, that was close. That squid is probably happy that the dolphins didn't eat them that time. Dolphins are one of the few animals on Earth that use echolocation. Here's how it works. And these little boxes tell us step by step how it works. One, the dolphin makes click sounds inside its blowhole. Two, the sounds are beamed forward through tissue in its forehead called the melon. And you can see the melon is this little circular object that's in the dolphin's head. Three, the sounds then bounce off an object and return as echoes. So that click sound the dolphin made went through the water and then it hit an object, which is the squid, and then it bounced back to the dolphin. And, that t and this little box right here tells us how it works. Four, the echoes travel through cavities in the dolphin's lower jaw into its ears. The amount of time it takes for the clicks to bounce back tells the dolphin the size, shape, and position of the object. And the squid in this picture says, this seems like a safe spot, but I don't think it's really safe because I think that dolphin used its echolocation to figure out where it was. Doing this hundreds of times per second allows them to paint a picture of their surroundings, even in the dark. Dolphins are excellent communicators. And this dolphin right here says, obviously. And then the bird says, though they don't really speak English. And then the fish down here says, do seagulls? Alright, and then down here it says, each dolphin has a unique whistle that only it makes. This is called a signature whistle. So kind of like we have our different voices and everybody has a different voice. A dolphin has a different kind of click noise or whistle that it makes. The whistle is like the dolphin's personal song or name. It helps dolphins recognize their friends. And these two little dolphins down here, the first dolphin says, that sounds like Gary. And then the other dolphin said, he still owes me three squid. And this dolphin is called the Pacific white-sided dolphin. Dolphins love to play. They leap, yee-haw. They splash, kaboom. They spin, whoa, whoa, whoa. They surf, wee. 
And there's a dolphin at the bottom of the page that's sticking its head out of the water, and it says, they tell jokes. And then the bird beside him says, awful jokes. So that bird must think that those dolphins aren't that funny. All of this play and communication helps dolphins work together when hunting and watching out for sharks. On the first page, there's dolphins that are circling a fish, and one of the dolphins says, we're really good at tag. And then the two dolphins beside the shark, one of them says, Marco. And then the other dolphin says, are we still playing? And then there's a shark coming up from the bottom right there. Dolphins do need to watch out for sharks, but their biggest threats are humans. And this page gives us four reasons for why humans are dangerous to sharks. So the first reason over here where you see the smoke coming up, it says toxic pollution. And the dolphin beside it says lovely. And then up under that picture where you see a boat, it says boat traffic. Ver. And then the dolphin says not so loud. And then on the next page where you see the um, net of fish, it says industrial fishing. And the dolphin says, Hank, I can't find anything to eat. So the industrial fishing takes the fish out of the water so dolphins don't have anything to eat. And also the dolphins can get stuck in the net as well. And at the bottom of the page where you see a polar bear, it says, in the changing climate. And this dolphin says, I'm confused. And it's because a polar bear is on an island. And polar bears don't live on islands. They're supposed to live in the snow. So some things that humans do changes the climate a little bit. And places where it's cold, it ends up being hot. So this page shows us that us humans have to be very careful with what we do so that we don't harm dolphins. The problems are large, but you can help by learning about dolphins and then teaching others because dolphins are wondrous animals. And on the first page, you can see a dolphin in the ocean and some kids on the beach. The dolphin says, tell them how smart we are. And then the bird says, they can judge for themselves. And this girl is showing a book to her friends about dolphins. So she's teaching her friends about dolphins so they can help save them. And on the next page, the dolphin that's in the air says, you think so? And then the bird says, not me personally. So dolphins are wondrous animals, but birds don't think so. And this is just a page that tells you facts about dolphins. One of the things that's on this page is it says dolphin moves. So here are some moves that dolphins can do. The first picture says they can breach by leaping and crashing. The second picture says they, can, they do belly flopping, so they flop on their belly. Another one says porpoising. And that's repeated jumping while swimming. So that's normally how a dolphin moves. If you've ever seen one, you've probably seen them porpoising. And then the orca picture says spy hopping. So they can poke their head up out of the water and look around everywhere. And then at the bottom, it tells us how long dolphins live. And it says they live, small dolphins live 20 to 40 years, while orcas can live for 40 years. Some have lived more than 90 years. So they can live almost as long as humans. So another picture says that when dolphins use their blowhole, the blowhole opens to breathe above the water, but then it closes up underwater so that water doesn't get in it. And then on the second page, there's some more facts about dolphins, but you can pause the video here and read those if you want to learn about those or have a parent help you read those. Toodaloo! Alright, so we just finished reading our book called The Truth About Dolphins, and now we are going to make a can-have R chart. And a can-have R chart is a way that you can organize facts that you have learned about something. So, in this case, we learned about some dolphins. So, we're going to organize some of the facts that we learned from that story because there was a lot of facts that we could have learned. And you can think about some of those facts, and you might can write your own can-have R chart at home, but Miss Hickman's going to come up with these facts to show you how to do it. So, Dolphins, I wrote the title called Dolphins, and then you have the words can, have, and are. So, 
dolphins can. So think about some things dolphins can do. One of the things dolphins can do is jump. So I'm going to write the word jump right here. So dolphins can jump. And then the next thing is we learn that dolphins use echolocation. So dolphins can, and then we're going to write use echolocation. And the next fact we're going to write is dolphins can. And the fact that we are going to write is going to be dolphins can communicate. And you remember they communicate using sounds and whistles. So we write dolphins can jump, dolphins can use echolocation, and dolphins can communicate. Now we're going to write dolphins have. And some of the things that dolphins have is one of the things we learn dolphins have is they use something to breathe, and that's called a blowhole. So dolphins have blowholes. All right. The next fact that we're going to write is we learn that dolphins have babies. So we're going to say dolphins have, and I'm going to write baby, and remember their babies are called calves, so we're going to write calves. So dolphins have baby calves. And the next thing we're going to write is dolphins have groups called pods. So just like wolves travel in packs, dolphins travel in pods. So I'm going to go back through and write a period. You can also use these chart to help you write sentences. And you can do that just by going dolphins, have, and then you can write blowholes. Dolphins have baby calves. Dolphins have groups called pods. Now the last word that we're going to have is are. So dolphins are. And one of the things we learned dolphins are in the book is they weren't fish, but dolphins are mammals. So write that with period. All right. The next thing we learned is dolphins are many different shapes, colors, and sizes. So they're all, there's all kind of different dolphins. So the fact that we're writing is dolphins are many different shapes, colors, and sizes. And the last fact that we're going to write is dolphins are, and remember the book told us they are excellent communicators. So here's all our facts that we learned from the story. Not It's not all of them, but it's some of the facts, the most important ones that we learned. So dolphins can jump. Dolphins can use echolocation. Dolphins can communicate. Dolphins have blowholes. Dolphins have baby calves. Dolphins have groups called pods. Dolphins are mammals. Dolphins are many different shapes, colors, and sizes. And dolphins are excellent communicators. So there's all our facts about dolphins, and we'll see you for our next read aloud.